got one of these mails a couple of years ago and made a lot of things happen for me over here. Right here we have a leopard. Oh my gosh, man. This is freaking beautiful. What's up YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, quick before we start this uh, vlog real quick, um, do a big shout out to Portuguese Pythons. Dude, they just bought a powerhouse mail that actually I had got one of these mails a couple of years ago and made a lot of things happen for me over here. And we're still using that mail till this day. Um, that's none other than the spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown. Go check out his Instagram, man. He has some crazy, crazy stuff. Not only did he get that mail, but he got something even crazier. But guys, um, as you can see, we have a crazy unboxing that we have to do today. We still have to go pick it up here shortly. So we're just waiting. Before we go pick up the package, um, I decided to show you guys a clutch that was called um, kind of like an accidental clutch because we only did this pairing one time with this female and she stayed around 14 millimeter follicle. So we didn't even think she was going to end up going. And out of nowhere, she ended up laying and we're like, what the hell, man? And the pairing was a male uh, leopard blade clown uh, head lavender to a blackhead confusion lavender. So it was pretty cool, man. See, we came out, we had only four eggs and let me tell you, it came out pretty freaking cool. So let's start off with this one right here, which is just a normal double hat. Look at that pretty cool little snake. And then we, right here, we have a leopard double hat lavender clown then we have this beauty right here man this thing's freaking nice right here look at this blackhead double hat lavender clown this thing is so freaking pretty man looks a little green in a way it does huh kind of yeah. like the army snake yeah exactly so and then we have the one that we were really really excited about and i'm not sure exactly if this is confusion or leopard yet um, again, I've never really hatched any of these before. But right here, we have a leopard. Uh, I, I would say probably confusion, man, or or leopard. I don't know. You guys help me out with this one. But yeah, man, it was pretty cool. Out of four eggs, we got some pretty good odds, especially on the clutch that we weren't even expecting for them to hatch or to, for her to even go. But again, guys, so now what we're going to do is pretty much wait until we get the alert. It should be around here within 15 minutes. Then we go pick up at FedEx. We haven't been receiving any snakes over here at our house anymore just because with the temperature, it's a lot safer just to pick them up at the hub. So once we get the alert that the snake's there, we're going to take off. While we're waiting, Turtle had a really good suggestion. We had thought out some frozen uh, frozen thawed rats, but well, they're not frozen anymore. So let's feed a couple of these retics while we wait. This one's gonna come at me crazy, man. This one always just comes out freaking full force. Damn. Trying to get in there, turtle? Like climb in? No, I want you to climb in. That retake will take you out. You're not too, you're not too much of a big dog. <laughs> but yeah, all right guys. So we'll probably feed these two twice. We like to give them two large rats because we haven't been able to feed. Oh wait, we got this one to go. It just scared me. Whew. Just my acting scared. I like to be an actor. I'm working on my acting skills. You fooled me. Yeah, I fooled myself <laughs> too. All right, guys, let's go get the snake. So, guys, you know what's one of my biggest like pet peeves? And you know, um, I don't know. You guys, let me know. How you guys feel? But I cannot stand when I cannot drive a car for going somewhere. Like we're gonna go pick up the snakes, but Tina said no. I want to drive, and of course I'm letting her drive. You know, her car, so <laughs> you know she gets to drive. But uh, let me know how you guys feel about that, man. Does that bother you guys or? Or is that just me? I think it's just you. Keep rising the roof. <laughs> Jeez. You're not a vlogger. You can't like, you know, do You can do drive things. without looking. No, big dog. Look. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, that's a big pet peeve of mine. But you know, it's a turtle. We got to let her win sometimes. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Man, the turtle's not even letting me go get the snake. She wants all the vlog time. Luckily, yeah, she's a little bit. Luckily, she's a little better looking than me, and you guys rather see her than me. So probably more than a little. Damn! <laughs> Just kidding. Hella did me. Damn. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Bye, turtle. Bye. Do you do you pick up snakes cooler than I do? I do. They know me here. Man. Yeah. They um, do. Actually, yeah. I really don't. I'm pick, not yeah. lying. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and there, the turtle goes putting on her mask on. Hell yeah. What happened to them knowing you? 
I don't know that guy, but they asked for Miguel Garcia. Not, Dude, not that's me. jacked not up. Turtle. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> sent the package to Turtle. <laughs> Dude, that guy that fool kind of disrespected you. Dang, what did he say? He said that they only allow big dogs to pick up big dog packages. No, he didn't say that. Yeah, he did. No, I'm gonna, gonna go and tell him. Yeah. I recorded. Well, carry on. <laughs> Man, it is time, guys. So. You guys remember, again, I brought this up recently because I just started doing some unboxings again. Um, you know, people, when I first started getting into this industry, people were calling me always buying uh, pythons, you know? That's, I mean, people were talking crap. The funny thing is, is, you know, when they're calling me always, always buying pythons, the funny thing is, I knew about like five, seven people that were investing way more money than I was in snakes, right? Most of those people are probably not even around anymore. But the funny thing is, is that the only difference what I did was I just put myself in front of the camera to, you know, get made fun of. And a lot of these people, these old school breeders or these people who talk so much crap or just random people, they're not even in the industry no more, you know? But um, it always brings me back to always buying pythons. And I, the reptile industry is probably one of the only industries and hobbies that I know that people like old school breeders or just people in general will, will talk crap about new breeders coming in, you know? Um, any other business, you know, you have to invest in the business to create a business. You can't just be like, oh man, make this up and boom. It, it happens like that, right? Uh, so it's always been very funny to me now. But now, I don't call myself always buying pythons. I call myself always investing pythons. I'm, we're five years in now, and man, dude, I mean, this, this is what we do for a living now. And this all pays for itself, and it pays for this, you know? And it's just so cool to be where we're at right now. And I'm not trying to sound like cocky or arrogant in any way, it's just, it's, it's just it's so crazy because I see new people coming in now and then these people are getting like made fun of or this and that and I don't know man just keep on going guys once you shut these people up trust me all they're gonna do is and they're gonna try to be friends with you and they're gonna be like oh man this guy has that snake man I've been doing this for like a hundred years and I still can't even make that so just keep on going hard with the guys keep on investing on these snakes man trust me it's super super worth it and buy yourself males buy yourself males <laughs> dude I just, Tina's laughing a lot because I thought I was good this year and I'd come out of pocket again for a couple of males. And trust me, a, uh, a breeder male right now in this day's market, it's freaking expensive. You could buy a, a, a pretty awesome male for like four to six grand or even three grand, raise it up and it'll be ready. Or you could wait a year and a half and think you have the male and then pay $10,000 for a male that's just freaking hat. It's insane, but it's much needed. It always pays off anyways. All right guys, so this snake over here came out from Jessica Belka. It's literally one of a kind snake. Um, I believe no one else has a snake um, and you know it was kind of hard to get it from him um, but you know Justin you know him and I you know he's he, I've been giving uh, sending him some snakes he's been um, sending me some snakes this snake is very very important to me and I'm gonna ask you guys I'm gonna let you guys know why it's very important to me I had chances to make um, to get another snake that was a little more powerful than this but it wouldn't have worked out for me and you guys are gonna see why so again let's um Oh, Jesus. Uh, that's a balance and a half right there. Turtle, you take care of that. But yeah, guys, this male is so freaking awesome, dude. I'm telling you, no one else has this. And especially with this, with these jeans stacked to it. I am so freaking excited, guys. Like, Your super, face super just lit excited. up right now. <laughs> dude, it's been, a, look, so by far, this is the most expensive uh, snake that I've purchased um, since I've been in this industry. You know, I've purchased some expensive snakes. But this one right here uh, takes it, you know, and it's so cool to be in this position now where, you know, I used to be so nervous or afraid to invest into a $5,000, $6,000 snake, let alone an $8,000. We've done $13,000 snakes and what you see what they do afterwards for your own collection and the payout on them is just so insane, man. I could, again, I'm talking a lot just to kind of get an idea. I mean, my first big investment was a pastel spot nose clown. I paid like five grand for him. This was three, four years ago. And I was like, man, that was a lot of money to get to a, you know, a male breeder. And man, that guy made me a loan. I think it was like around like 30 something thousand dollars that year. And I made Batmans and stuff. And then I purchased a uh, $15,000 um, snake. And then that $15,000 snake made me like $70,000. And just the market right now is like growing, man. And it's, it's just so cool, dude. I'm, I feel like a kid, man. Like, look, I started buying like 70, uh, 80 snakes. Now I've only like purchased maybe like a handful, like five to seven, but dude, this thing's so freaking cool. Sorry guys, I'm so excited. I'm like nervous excited and dude, this guy's so freaking awesome. Let's see. Dude, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, man. This is freaking beautiful. I can't freaking believe this. Look at that. 
Let me put it right here. Maybe it might be better with colors. And he's just chilling right there. Oh, yeah, he's bright like that. Oh, gosh. That is so freaking insane, dude. Man. So, right here, we have a spot nose, red stripe, enhancer, G stripe, 100% het clown. Dude, how freaking insane is that? Again, enhancer, and you know, again, enhancer, desert ghost. Um, you know, basically the same thing. Um, don't yell at me. I know people like to stick with Enhancer. This was sold to me as Enhancer, so it's gonna stay Enhancer. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, dude, such a freaking powerhouse, man. I mean, two amazing code doms in there, much needed, Spot Nose and Red Stripe. Uh, Desert Ghost, well, Enhancer, much needed. Um, G Stripe, I don't have no G Stripe here in my collection. 100% Head Clown, I have a buttload of clowns here. So the reason why this snake is so important to me is I could have got a clown version of this that would have been head uh, G-stripe with two more code doms. But the problem is I have no genetic stripes whatsoever. I could have purchased a couple of females that could have, you know, um, I could have to wait two to three years or my case a year and a half to breed them. But the fact that this is, has G-stripe already, um, which is a recessive gene, I have a lot of desert ghosts here. I have more clowns than anything. And the clowns that I have are stacked with massive genes in them. I mean, I don't have no more normal clowns. I mean, if you think about it, right here, I mean, look, we have three VPI clowns. We have a lavender clown, spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown, mahogany, Pompeii clown. I mean, take a look at these things right here, man. I mean, look. Cypress, uh, Batman, yellow belly, scarecrow, um, orange dream, yellow belly, leopard clown, head pied, black pastel, Wookiee, yellow belly clown, I mean, Black Pastel Clown Hit Hypo, Spot Nose Red Stripe, uh, Cinnamon Clown, with a lot of mold in there, needs to get cleaned out. I mean, it, it's so insane how much clown stuff that we have here, Lace Clowns, Chocolate Clowns, Trident Clowns, and dude, that's not even with the other females that I have over there that I'm still raising up. I mean, we're, we have about, Last time we checked around 70 clowns, and that's not even completing our holdbacks that we have on the other side that are clown head desert ghosts. But the key to this guy is like all the desert ghosts had clowns or vice versa that I put to them. I mean, I'm gonna get visual clowns, uh, visual clown desert ghosts, combos, because I don't have anything that's just normal, that are gonna be 100% head genetic stripe. Like that's why this snake is so freaking important to me, man. And again, look at this, dude. So freaking insane. And guys, sorry again, you know, that I'm talking a lot. It's just, you know, if you guys are in, you know, I know there's a difference between seeing this as a hobby and seeing this as a business. To me, this has been a dream come true for us. And if this helps you guys just a little with what I'm talking, what I'm saying, like why these genetics are more important than the crazier combo clown, I hope it, you know, helps you guys. But man, I'm super so excited, super, super excited. Big shout out to Jessica Belka at Canova. Seriously, man, thank you for this mail. It was hard to get away, get out of your hands, but Man, guys, I'm super excited. As always, man, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, peace.